But first of all, hi guys, welcome or welcome back if you're new. No, I messed that up. I, I may be the worst YouTuber on a planet. I mess up so many things, like they're like the regular things, but you know, just, let's just keep rolling with it. Let's just pretend like this didn't happen. Hi, looking good today. So, it's actually it's directly on my face and I don't know if you guys can see anything, but let's just say that I tried. So today we're talking about the secret formula to finding a soulmate. I just have to make one thing very clear first and that is that I'm not gonna tell you that you should go on Tinder or like recommend you another awesome dating app. In my experience, finding love starts somewhere completely else. So if you're here for bullshit like this, then you can click off as well. I mean, um... Don't do it because, you know, you may be surprised. This time I decided to go with a good old coffee talk. Although, as always, I don't have my coffee in here. Okay, I'm good now. Here's a plot twist. I'm a big fat liar and I'm not drinking coffee right now. I made myself a tea and there is only one explanation for that. And that is that the fall is coming. Sun is messing up everything today. Like, I love you, sunshine, but you just gotta... Chill. So, there is a lot of misconception going around the topic of soulmates and love and like relationships in general. Like that you have to be in one or that a sloppy relationship is better than no relationship at all. Right? Wrong! Whatever you believe to be true about relationships or yourself or like what are you looking for in a partner, you being the best version of yourself is like the most attractive feature like it can't get better think about it when you're genuinely focused on your goals your dreams on bettering yourself and you have like your own life that is when other people notice you and that is when you notice other people and the best part about being so focused on yourself is that you're not pretending to be someone else you couldn't be more focused on the details that make you you so yeah, the little things that make you you, you're showing them to the world and you're not desperate waiting for perfect somebody to show up That's when people really have to match your vibe and your standards for you to be interested in the first place you Don't jump into the first relationship that shows up because you just have better things to do with your time And maybe it's just me, but driven people are so hot like and then when you are already in a relationship with a person that matches your standards and your vibes and you know, awesome as driven as you are it's so attractive to know that this person that has this amazing life like amazing life going on their own still wants you to be the part of their life and this amazing experience and vice versa it just makes the potential relationship even better in the long run you are the best version of yourself when you are genuinely happy and therefore the most attractive you but please take a note that other person liking you or finding you attractive or loving you should never be a priority because it's never gonna make you emotionally stable you need to like who you are and love what you do but do it because it's your purpose on this planet and makes your soul shine not because this bob guy would surely fall for it so it's basically not about taking the shortcut and pretending to be someone else that we're not just because other people would find that attractive. That's genuinely where I struggle the most because I'm pretty good at pretending stuff. There are times where I think I already changed, I moved forward, I'm a better person now and then, you know, stuff show up and it's not true. I'm still figuring this all out. These are my thoughts on this topic. I'm willing to share them with the world because I'm on YouTube and that's what I do. Just the best explanation ever for everything that I do. Playing YouTube, pretending to be someone else so that other people find that attractive still equals desperately waiting for the Bob guy to show up and change everything and take all the worries away and bring rainbows and sunshine and the cup of coffee. Instead of making this a valuable time for the person that your world really should revolve around. And it's not Bob, it's, 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 it's you. There is no handbook for living your life. We're all just creatures trying to figure this all out. I love that we have these platforms where we can share our opinions and thoughts because it's just when I have this aha moment, like something clicks, something switches, and I see life differently. I really hope this video could be that moment for you. But I'm not finished, so I don't know why I'm talking like this was the outro. I messed up. I'm sorry. This art of distracting yourself. And by distracting yourself, I mean like doing the things you love, finding new hobbies and passions, working to achieve your dreams and your highest goals in life. 
That's what I mean by distracting yourself. You're basically training yourself to stay focused on your own needs, which will be like so beneficial for you in a future relationship. Being in a relationship just for the sake of being in one is basically holding yourself and your partner and not letting yourself go to become the people you have already become, like inside, down here in heart, you know what I'm saying. And if you don't know who you have already become, that's even a better reason to stay single until you figure yourself out. And you know, like stay this way until you're semi-emotionally stable human being, not interested in fucking up someone else's life. Was that harsh? I think it was. This was a crash course in relationships and confidence and self-love and like happiness in general. I truly believe that there is a one recipe for everything and that is taking care of yourself and focusing on yourself and making your happiness and you feeling good your biggest, highest priority and not even a damn about anything that tries to screw this up for you. This is my tough love to you guys and to myself because I'm talking to myself too. I'm repeatedly watching this while I'm editing. I'm kind of thinking these words and hoping for the best. Finding a soulmate shouldn't be your ultimate goal in life. And if you clicked on this video, then stakes are high that you are looking for that person. And I don't blame you, like who isn't? <laughs> but she or he was already born and is living on this planet and you just gotta find your ways to each other. And that sounds so lame and probably is, but I believe in that. I think that the minute we switch our focus at something else, Finding the other person isn't relevant anymore because we just have this amazing life going on our own. That's when those people show up. And there is no shortcut. And also there is no other way to be happy. You have to find it on your own before you can share it with someone else. I really hope that you guys found value in these words that have been flowing in here. And I really hope you are ready to dive into the life filled with amazing stuff that you love and that you want to do and that you're excited about this journey and other cheesy quotes from Pinterest. I would love to say these things for sure, but I like, kind of like I can't, it wouldn't be professional. So I'm just gonna say that I really believe that we all can find those things and we can have those things and we're on this journey together. So let's support each other and try to figure this out. Like even though we never can i'm rambling again but it doesn't matter this is our chance to you know grow and evolve and i find that important thank you guys so much for watching this video was a little bit calmer than the other ones but i hope you don't mind and check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel i mean you know what to do and life is a story so make it a good one